Hi, my name is Caroline. Thank you so much for joining me this week. This week we are focused on Amazon Echo gadgets. This is your reminder, please do put your devices on mute as I will be saying the wake word frequently in this video. In this video, we are continuing from last week. Last week we connected our Raspberry Pi to our Amazon Echo device to an LED. Now we're connecting it to a servo motor and we're connecting it to a timer and the servo motor will move with the timer and notify us visually when the timer is up. Alexa, set a timer for five seconds. Five seconds, starting now. Alexa, stop. What is an Alexa gadget? An Alexa gadget is a device that you can pair with your Amazon Echo device. A common question I get is, do I, can I do this without the Amazon Echo device? No, you actually have to have a real Amazon Echo device for this to work to my understanding. Uh, and you can use a Raspberry Pi 0W or a Raspberry Pi uh, 3, uh, but I've just decided to use a Raspberry Pi 4 device here. And um, you will need to have a basic setup of your Raspberry Pi 4 on the Raspbian Buster operating system. And if you haven't done that already, I'll link to a video below where you set up a Raspbian Buster operating system on a Raspberry Pi. That's step one. Step two is you get it working with the LED. I'll link to that below. And then now we're on step three, which is attaching it to a servo motor. And these servo motors are pretty cheap. They're pretty easy to get on Amazon. You can buy in packs of five or 10. To find out more, let's get started. What you're looking at is a servo motor that I've attached to a 3D printed piece of plastic here. So it's just easier to see as the motor moves. And yes, I did hot glue it to a coaster because my servo motor just kind of kept on flopping around and it was kind of hard for you to see the movement. So uh, this is my servo motor attached to a coaster with a plastic arm so that you can see it as it moves around. We're picking up right where we left off, GitHub forward slash Alexa, Alexa gadgets, Raspberry Pi samples. And we went through the setup as a gadget and we completed that project last week. This week we are going to timer gadget and we are going to set a timer. And so what you need is a servo motor in your Raspberry Pi and your Alexa device, of course. First thing we need to do is hook up the servo motor to our Raspberry Pi here, and we're gonna use those GPIO pins. You need three male to female cables. Let me show you how they work. First thing we need to do is you'll notice the wires are darkest to lightest. The darkest wire is actually the ground wire and it is attached to the GPIO ground. And this is the ground wire, GPIO ground to the ground of my servo motor. And how do I know this? I have a little diagram here that shows you brown is the ground wire, negative. The positive signal is the middle wire. And then the orange signal is this wire right here. And it's gonna connect to GPIO pin 20 five or on the pin out on pin 22, which is the 11th pin down on the right hand side. That's how I kind of look at it. And that is how you are hooking up these male to female wires to your servo motor. And that's, that's about it for the wiring there. I hope that made sense. I will link to this so you can see what the combination is for the servo motor, which wire goes to which wire. You will need three male to female wires. You'll need the GPIO output pins of your Raspberry Pi. And then it's pretty easy after that. We did set up all our credentials with the Alexa voice service last week here. So we do have a product, RPI servo, and we do have an Amazon ID gadget secret. We set that up in the file last week. And now all we have to do is just test out our code. And here is the code and it runs a timer essentially. And let's, let's try it out. So we need to open up a terminal in order to do that. We need to go to the directory where the timer code lives, which is Alexa gadgets, Raspberry Pi samples, SRC examples. And then there's a directory for timer. So we go into that and then we need to run our Python script, Python three timer underscore gadget dot py. That is the script that has it. So I'm gonna hit enter. And then last week we also paired our Raspberry Pi with our Alexa device here. And then it should just automatically reconnect after you have done that once. All right, so it is paired. So I'll say Alexa, set a timer for five seconds. Five seconds. Starting now. Okay. 
And, and you see it wave around when the timer's done. Alexa, stop. And then when it's done, it stops waving around. So that's pretty cool that you can set a timer and then have a servo motor react to that timer because it is Bluetooth paired to your Echo device. That's that entire project. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought that was kind of fun for us to do. You could make a lot of changes to this. You could add several servo motors. You could do different things and really make this your own. It's a fun STEM project or fun project you can do with your Echo device. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye now.